Greetings, judges. Welcome to the presentation of model sign language recognition. Problem statement. The differently able use a very different language for communicating with each other. It is the sign language. And generally, people like us don't understand uh, the sign language, which acts as a huge barrier between them and us. The proposed solution is to take an elementary step in breaking the barrier in communication between people and differently able with the help of sign language recognition and its vocalization. Modules used NumPy, OpenCV 4.0, Pickle, Keras, TensorFlow, SQLite OS, PYTT SX3. Implementation The implementation is divided into three parts pre processed data, train model, and gesture recognition. In pre-processing of data, uh, the follows are set hand histogram, create gestures, rotate gestures, load images. CNN model is created and trained on the data set. The trained model is used to predict the gesture and write it to text and also convert it to audio. CNN model, also, uh, which stands for Convolutional Neural Network Model. It is an artificial neural network. The, uh, the, it has hidden layers known as the convolutional layers, which is best known for detecting patterns in the data. So the purpose of choosing CNN because, uh, is because that it uh, detects pa uh, patterns in images at the best. CNN model is built using several layers. First one being convolutional layer which results in a map feature map indicating the locations and strength of the detected feature in an input. Next is the pooling layer, which downsamples each feature map independently. And then is a flatten layer that flattens 2D or 3D matrix of features to a 1D vector. Then is a dropout layer, which temporarily drops out neurons to prevent overfitting. Then a dense layer in which each neuron receives an input from all the neurons present in the previous layer and thus densely connected. Now let's discuss the working of the model. To set the histogram value for the model, you can run this program. You can press C till you get an appropriate histogram value where your finger should be white. And you can press S to save it as hist in your root folder. This is createGestures.py. This is used to add more gestures to the data set. So when you long press and hold S on your keyboard, it ca starts capturing and it captures up to 1200 frames for every gesture. After which we can use rotate gestures.py to rotate it to improve the quality of the entire data set. This is the display gesture file which shows one image from every folder so we know what all gestures are present in our data set. In load images.py we divide the entire image data set into train set, test set and validation set which is used to train our model. After proper loading of gestures we'll have Files namely train images, train labels, and val images, val labels, which we will use to train our model. In this problem, we are using CNN model. After training, the model will be saved in an H5 file named CNN model Keras2. So let us run this module. After training the model, now we'll run. This will open two windows. One will have the hand histogram where we can see our sign. The other one will contain the predicted text. It also has a voice on feature if you can see. This means the voice is now on. If we press a V, this will turn off the voice. Pressing Q will quit. You can also see this green dialog box. Here we need to make our signs in order for it to be predicted. Now let us move on to the gestures. Love. Why? O. L. Yolo. Thank you for watching.